Hello, I'm Daniel with Teach Kids Robotics, and today we'll be talking about why don't robots like shiny black floors, an advanced look into some limitations of LiDAR. So why don't robots like shiny black floors? Amazon recently announced the Amazon Astro household robot, but if you're looking to buy one, you'll notice there's a lot of limitations in the environments it can operate in. The Amazon website explicitly states that the following features are not compatible with the Astro. One of these features is solid black glossy flooring. But why? Why don't robots like shiny black floors? In today's discussion, we're going to dive into that question and explain exactly from the robot's perspective why shiny black floors are actually a problem. So first, let's review. How do LiDARs work? LiDAR, or light detection and ranging, is a common robot sensor used to understand the environment, how far away and where things are, that uses the time light travels and reflects off an object to determine the distance to that object. It's commonly found above self-driving cars, where light is used to identify traffic and the lanes around it. Now these LiDAR sensors send out multiple rays of light to construct a point cloud representation of the environment. Lasers are usually emitted from a spinning source to cover up to 360 degrees. Each point only corresponds to a single array of light that was emitted and reflected back to the sensor, whose distance could be calculated. And we can see that in the example on my left here, where we see the spinning LiDAR and the point cloud and rays being returned from the environment showing where both the floor is and the walls around it. Here's an example of a LiDAR point cloud visualization, whose reflections clearly represent an indoor environment with chairs and shelves. We can see the chair here on the right side of the image, and the chair is made up of these individual points, these individual light rays that the LiDAR had sent out and that successfully reflected and returned back to the LiDAR. So having covered LiDARs, let's also quickly talk about light itself. How is light reflected off of a surface? So from a brief physics overview, we know that color is really an object's reflectivity to different wavelengths of white light, which means black actually absorbs the most light and the most energy than any other color because it doesn't actually reflect some of these other wavelengths that you would see, for example, with red or with white. And this actually explains also why maybe on a sunny day, you'll notice a black car, either on the paint on the outside or with interior that's black, it's gonna be a lot hotter than if it was white. It's because that black is actually absorbing the energy and taking all of that light, which is energy, in. So, since we know that black absorbs the most energy out of any other color, and LiDAR operates by reading reflected energy or light from laser rays in the environment, we can see how black is associated with low LiDAR reflectivity, or high absorption of light. So there's been research done on the role of coatings in object detection with regards to how different colors actually impact the ability for the LiDAR's light ray to hit the surface and return successfully. We can see in this graph here that the LiDAR reflectance, how much of that light actually got back to the LiDAR, was very high for bright shades, such as the white, but very, very low for the dark shade, the straight black shade, because it has low reflectance as a result of its energy absorbing properties. And from the perspective of a LiDAR, this is a problem. So why is low LiDAR reflectance a problem? While the low reflectivity or high absorption of black materials is problematic for LiDARs because LiDARs rely on the reflected light to evaluate the distance the light ray traveled, meaning no reflection leads to no calculated points in our point cloud, meaning there's no way to know what is in that region where the laser rays did not return. We can see in this example on the left here, if we had a, 
uh, 180 degree LiDAR here. In a self-driving environment, we can see the cars in front of us in our environment. And we can consider a normal LiDAR return for a 360 degree LiDAR, giving us some rings for every area, every degree. Yet if there was missing LiDAR, we can visualize that as simply not having any information, not having any returned rays from a piece of our um, environment. And we can see how that's a problem because not knowing what's there can impact the robot's ability to operate successfully. So returning to our original question, why don't robots like shiny black floors? We now know the answer. Robots don't like shiny black floors or any other shiny or flat black surfaces because it makes it hard to get accurate LiDAR data due to the low LiDAR reflectivity. This means light rays sent into the environment don't return to the LiDAR. We call these unreturned rays. Effectively, a bottomless pit and a glassy black floor actually look the same to a robot because as far as the robot using the LiDAR is concerned, the array was sent, but it never returned. As far as why it did not return, the robot does not know. And it could have been because the light traveled infinitely into this bottomless pit, or because it never reflected correctly back from the glossy black flooring. So what can robots do about this? There's actually research being done in how can we have environments that are actually still maintaining kind of these black colors, but are friendly to robots that have high LiDAR reflectivity. And we can see there's actually alternate materials being developed that even though they are black in appearance, they are very reflective in terms of the LiDAR and the light intensity that they can reflect. So do you have any other questions about robot limitations? Feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for checking out our channel. And this has been Daniel from Teach Kids Robotics, and we hope to see you again. Feel free to check out also our website in the description, where you can see other useful blog posts about how